Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Diani Neves and I am a Christian blogger, influencer, mentor, and mouthpiece for the Lord, which simply means that I share the words that God gives me for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm sitting here waiting to start my next mentorship call and I'm thinking about the last conversation I just had with a sister in Christ and I felt God asking me, what is it that you are running from? Okay, and as he was asking me that, I kind of envisioned myself sitting at my desk with my journal, my notebook, and writing down the things that he brings to my mind, the things that I'm actually running from. And I feel like he wants me to come on here and share this because there are so many of his children who are trying to progress, or you can identify where God is trying to bring you to for his glory, what he's trying to give you success in, but there's a lot of self-sabotage at play. And for him to encourage me to actually write these things down, put them on paper, means that there may be something that he brings to my mind that I'm not even um, really aware of, right? There might be something going on subconsciously that he wants to bring to my attention. And usually when he has me do like a writing exercise like this, it's because he wants to give me actual basic principles or strategies to help me overcome whatever it is I'm dealing with. Something he's had me mention to a lot of mentees and in a couple of my videos is that it's one thing for us to have a lot going on up here. It's one thing for us to be thinking about what we're thinking about, thinking about what we're overwhelmed by, thinking about what we're feeling versus taking everything out, laying it on a table and then addressing it bit by bit. He's been teaching me how to compartmentalize, which means to take everything that's going on up here, everything that's going on in here, and to partner with him to sift through it to reveal what it is that he wants me to focus on at that point in time. And as I'm sitting here thinking about what I would write down, the first thing that comes to my mind is I'm running away from the weight that I know is going to come with me pursuing wholeheartedly, like truly throwing myself into giving my everything to a business opportunity that he's blessed me with, okay? And I can already kind of foresee him asking me, what am I calling you to do to oppose your desire to run away from the weight that's gonna come with this thing? I can see a part of that answer being asking him what it is that he has in store for me that the weight will help me tap into. Being reminded of what God desires for me to receive and achieve through this opportunity will help me to pay less attention to maybe the negative aspects that come with this thing. So yeah, if you're finding yourself at a place where you know that God has something good for you, some things that are good for you, and you can identify that you have been really struggling to fully embrace those things or that thing, try sitting with him and writing down what you are running from. And if you can't think of anything off rip, ask him to show you and tell you what you are running from. Invite him into that space, right as the Holy Spirit leads you to, and then ask him, okay, God, how can I overcome the very things that I am thinking about, that I'm concerned about, that aren't really a concern of yours, that are being used against me, that are resulting in self-sabotage? What am I losing sight of that you need me to go back to to keep at the forefront of my mind so that I am not, you know, paying attention to things that really don't matter in the grand scheme of things? 